Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, so, uh, as I'm preparing for a Magic the Gathering pre-release, my very first one, as well as a Yu-Gi-Oh! sneak peek next weekend, because I kind of want to do that, I haven't played Paper Magic in, like, uh, since high school, and I haven't played Paper Yu-Gi-Oh! since college, so it, it's it's pretty cool. I, I actually wanted to do that, because, man, oh man, these days have been getting so boring. I, I just need to go out more, you know? So, uh, uh, which is why I'm excited to see what this ban list is. Like, this, I've never actually seen the ban list. I have no idea what's on it. Never seen it. Uh, so this is going to be my live reaction to this. Uh, and the next one's going to be, uh, no sooner than March 3rd. So that's when the new rules is set in. So, yeah, I expect a pretty big list by that time. So, yeah. So, alright. So let's see what they, uh, they banned. So I've never actually seen this, so I have no idea. Uh, oh shit, they banned Harp Horror. Holy fuck. Wow. Oh my god. From, from all the Orcus cards to hit, they hit Harp Horror. Wow. Uh, Babel's the one that, uh, makes Orcus quick effects. Um... Uh, the link to uh, Galilea or whatever the hell her name is. Uh, I didn't think that was a card that was going to be banned. Probably going to be limited, which I think would be the right call. Harpoor was semi limited in the OCG. I remember that, but banned. Wow, they actually banned it. Um, okay, uh, I just straight forget. I straight forgot what the card does, which is why I'm glad the UK uh, ban list site uh, actually has the cards on the sides here. So this is the one that special summons from the deck. Okay. All right, that's the one that special from the deck. So yeah, um, that that's a that's that's a huge blow to uh, Orcus. Uh, that's a pretty big blow. Like wow, uh, oh wow, I, I, I'm stunned by that. Um, moving on. Fog wow, <laughs> yes, yes. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. As a true Draco player. I couldn't be any fucking happier, but I'm also scared that True Dragos got fucked by this list. I'm scared for that possibility, but oh my god, they finally banned Colossus! Holy shit! And you know, um, Colossus limit. I've like I could see a Colossus limit, but a ban? Wow, that's even better! Holy shit! I am glad. I am actually really glad about this because. Not, to be fair, Colossus was going to be a huge problem with the April uh, the April rules. Because, uh, yeah, that card was just going to be really, really disgusting with the new rules. So, I'm glad they banned it just now. Like, I hated this card. I fucking hate Colossus. Never liked it. Like, ev so many decks that I play die to this card. It's just fucking absurd. It, it's really easy to bring out, and it has per a protection effect that is just fucking bullshit. It's just, holy crap, I'm so happy about that. Wow. Oh my god, what the fuck? They hit Electromite? What? They banned Electromite? Holy shit. Um, wow, okay. I can see why. I, I can see why. Because Edemion has been like one of those sleeper decks that's been doing the rounds in the, in the meta. But Pendulum decks in general were so good with this card. Like, that's why it was limited. Because it was just so damn good. But, yeah, I can see why they had to ban it. Like, it, it was just getting too good. Like, and with the new rules, yeah, they had to ban this card too. So, I, there's a lot of preemptive hits from what I've noticed. So... Damn. Okay, this list is not what I was expecting. Like, a lot of these is... They hit Ib and Tempe! What the fuck? What? They hit Ib? The, no, this, 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 this can't be real. This this can't be real. They, f they hit Ib. They fucking hit Ib and Tempest. Holy shit. Um, Ib, um... Shit, that sucks, because I, I actually like that card... But I can see why. Because that card with the new link that uh, World Chalice has, or was it World was it World Chalice or World Legacy? It's one of the two. Yeah, that the, it would have been fucking broken with that link. So I can see why they had to ban it. Like, 
Holy crap. So Ib um, was, the co and not to mention we're getting needle fiber. Uh, I know it has like a, a, another, it has a, new, has a name now, but I'm just going to call it needle fiber anyways, or Halifax, jokingly so. So yeah, Halifax can turbo out this card. Um, you get, um, I, I believe you get like some World Legacy card on Tudor, I think, or was it when it's destroyed? I don't remember. It was one, one of the two, but yeah, I think it's when it's removed from the field, the, but whatever. Ib is gone. Like, that's not gonna matter anymore. It was gone. Like Jesus and Tempest. Uh, Tempest was a card that a lot of people have been speculating about. Like people have been theorizing about this card ever since the and the Meon support came out in in Japan. People have been worried that this card was going to be a huge problem. And with you know the new rules coming out, I can see why they had to hit it because oh my God, with the new rules, this card would have been kind of dumb. So, yeah, this, this, th like I said, this list is unexpected. Like, I, I'm just amazed. Are there any XG's that got hit? Oh my god, it hit as a fu- and rush. What the fuck is this list? What the absolute fuck is this list? Oh, okay, first of all, Azlot's gone. Good. Fucking good. I'm happy about that. Because as a thought is a garbage card. Garbage design card. It's a card that applies... The ability to stop monster effects for a turn. It's not an effect that even activates. How the fuck is that even fair? Like, you can't even Psalm Strike that. You have to literally Psalm Strike on its summon. Uh, then again, you're going to do Psalm Strike on the summon. What am I saying? I'm stupid. But anyways, anything that stops monster effects, you can't use it on Azathoth. Like, that's just stupid. Like, sealing, like preventing you from playing Yu-Gi-Oh! is a really bad thing. And, uh, and to be fair, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Mystic Mind's banned on this list. Given the well, how this list is going so far, uh, so as a thought is uh, is banned now, which is good. Like I think, if, and if that's the case, uh, R rank up uh, the Phantom Launch card is probably back. So for you uh, d uh, Dark Reckon players, maybe this is the list. Maybe this is the list where you get to play it again. And Mirage Stallion is gone. Um, it's been a while since I played against Solomon Greats. I think I remember Stallion being like the bouncer. I think this card that your bounces or. Uh, let's, let's look up Stalia. Actually, let's look up Ib. Like, you know, why the fuck did I just do that before? We'll just, uh, no, no, we're just, actually, we're just gonna stop that. I'm just gonna open it in another tab here. So let's look at Ib, and while we're at it, we're gonna open up Stalia, because I, I need to remember what the hell these cards do. Uh, alright, so Ib, um, Ib, yeah, Ib is a searcher, and it, you special, summon, oh yeah, it was, oh, you special summon World Child, that's right, right. So basically, you just play it for the synchro summon effect, and you tutor World Legacy. Uh, basically, you tutor a World Le uh, World Legacy Awakening. I believe that was the card. I mean, basically, it's like Monster Reborn for like Link monsters. But yeah, with the new Link, that would have been broken. And for Stalio, um, Stalio was oh right, you special summon a, a Salmon Griff from the deck. That's right. Yeah, that that would have been that would have been stupid. Uh, with the new rules, uh, th th this card, uh, I didn't think this card was, like, broken or anything, but, yeah, yeah, I can see why, like, I can see why, I mean, I wasn't expecting it, so, whatever, Dryden is still banned, so, Dryden is still banned, it's not, it has, it's not back, and Brilliant Fusion is gone, why am I even surprised at this point, like, Brilliant Fusion has gone through so much, like, you could, like, you couldn't just leave it alone, could you, <laughs> The card was limited. Nobody was playing it except hardcore like uh, like Gemini players, and it's banned now, like straight up banned. What the hell is this list? What the fuck is this list? I I'm just I'm just stunned. I'm just stunned that uh, Brilliant Fusion's gone. It, it, uh, I don't know if it was still used or not, but uh, then again, with the new rules, uh, it would have been even worse because basically you didn't have to worry whether the you know that fusion monster. Uh, so Knight was blocking the monster zone. Didn't matter. So I think Insta Fusion's gone too. I wouldn't be surprised if they banned Insta Fusion. So let's see what's next. God, this list's crazy. Oh man, what's next? Oh my God, they fucking killed Sky Strikers. Holy shit. Uh, okay, Engage is a is a bad card. Okay, it's a busted fucking card. Engage is stupid. Like, this card is dumb. You get to fetch any other Sky Striker card except Engage. How the... Like, it's not once per turn, and you get to draw a card if you have three or more spells in the graveyard. Like, it's just... This was a card that was asking to be banned for a long time. 
Like, long time coming. So, uh, like, I'm happy Engage has finally been hit, but a ban, holy shit. Like, they really hit hard on this card. Damn. Uh, so, I don't know what this means for Sky Striker. I mean, they just lost their fucking Rota, so... <laughs> yeah. That's huge. That is fucking huge. Oh, man. I don't think... Yeah, they're not gonna be a meta deck anymore, I don't think. Like, that just that just straight up... That's, that seals the deal. Any new traps? No? Okay. Alright. So, they didn't hit... The, they didn't ban Babel... Which was like the only car that had to be banned. or And mine is still... Is not banned. Maybe it's limited. Or semi-limited. But... Holy shit. How many bans is that? Like, Jesus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards getting banned. Holy crap. And this is just the bans. Now for the limits. Oh, dear. Nessie is limited. I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. Uh, Nessie is a really, really dumb card. It's it's a danger searcher. I like danger searcher has pretty good stat. Uh, that's the searcher, isn't it? Um, I don't think it's the one that summons from the deck. Um, I'm pretty sure that's Jackal that summons from the deck. Or uh, I I I get the two confused. Uh, Nessie's the one that Nessie's the one that searches. Yeah, that's it's the searcher. Uh, the uh, Jackalope's the one that special summons from deck. Um, so, uh, Nessie is, uh, is really annoying. Uh, you get to fetch pretty much the danger you want to trigger. Um, it's, it's, it's really dumb. Like, they should have limited this card in the first place. I don't know why they say me limited the dangers. Like, that was a stupid move. They should have limited those cards, but uh, I'm fine. I'm fine with this. Pancratops is limited. Wow. Wow. UK. Um... OCG has two Pankratops, so I guess that was just a natural progression. Um, Pankratops is a dumb card. Uh, you, it's a free level 7 monster. You special summon it if they have more monsters than you. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad it's gone. I'm really happy it's gone. Uh, not gone, but limited. Because I love this card, don't get me wrong, but it's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's a bullshit card. Uh... So, yeah, uh, Ripperonis. So, yeah. Free level sign monster can pop anything on quick as a quick effect. Like, damn. It's, it's it's hard to play around this card, too. It's, like, super annoying. Servant of Sedemion is limited. Um, that's the one that can negate monster effect or spells. Um, um,. Oh, it's a skill two. It's a skill two. You can special summon this and one monster from your deck. Uh, discard spell counter counter. Uh, uh, okay, so okay, I'm I'm not familiar with enough with Edemion, but uh, this card looks unassuming. But I know that because it's probably because it has a low uh, pendulum skill and can summon things from the deck, and it can place counters on every card. Okay, every card. Okay, that yeah, that's ban word. That's limit wordy. Okay, I can see why. <laughs> I thought that was just on one card. No, it's all the cards. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck? They brought my Lit Soldium! Oh boy! True King Dinos! True King Dino boys! We're, we're gonna be doing fucking True King Dinos again. Oh baby! I cannot believe that guy who want. Uh, like, there was a guy on the Yu Gi Oh! org server who. Got himself banned. He wanted the soldiers in back. Uh, I guess he got his wish. Like, at one, I'm fine with it with, at one. Because at three, it was bullshit. But at the same time, I'm scared for uh, True Draco. So I'm actually scared for them now. But the soldier is back. So so this is like a cool-ass boost for dinosaur decks. I'm just hoping it didn't hit, like, dinosaurs too hard. Like, I'm, that's what I'm scared about. Uh, so... You get to pop two Earth monsters. For those who don't know the Sojum, you get to pop two monsters at least on Earth. Uh, and if I believe if both of them are Earth, um, you can special, you can banish like three cards from your opponent's extra deck. It's just it's that's a pretty nutty effect. But the the the, the but the other thing is, least Sojum pops baby like the baby source and uh, uh, the the other baby Dino to summon crap from the deck. It's it's really stupid. 
It was a really, it was a really dumb card. Like I played in a True King Dinos. It was, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a fun time. All right. Card of the Mind got limited. Wow. Uh, I cannot believe some people actually called like Dan Parker called this. What the fuck? He actually called this. Um, on one hand, it sucks for a lot of casual decks that love playing this card just so they can catch up with the. But on the other hand, yeah, I can see why. Like, uh, yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not going to be around the bush about it. The card is busted. Like, it's... There was actually a lot of meta decks that relied heavily on card demise. Like, it was insanely good. Like, it's a really, really good card. It just sucks for a lot of those casual decks that loved playing card demise. But then again, there were meta decks that used this card. And it was really good in those. Like, tr this is, a this is like, one of True Draco's favorite toys right there. It's They loved card demise at 3. But with a, at 1, uh, that really sucks. But I don't think it's the underworld for True Draco's. At least not yet. In case you haven't guessed, my True Draco's like the deck I want to play in. I want to play Draco's in real life. Oh, fuck! I saw. I knew it. I goddamn knew it. Yeah, I goddamn knew it. Dynamic diagram is that one now? I don't think that means it's dead, but it's gonna be different. You like the OCG has one diagram, but True Dracos have actually made some tops over there because they have everything else at three, except you know masterpiece. It's still banned, but they have everything else at three. They have three returns. Uh, three Dino Fighters. Uh, they have, uh, I mean, Dynamite. My bad. Uh, they have uh, three. Uh, well, in his heat is already three, but you you know, they have everything at three. It's uh, it's it's nuts. But yeah, um, yeah. I'm, I guess so. I'm gonna have to forget about you know buying cards for Tredracos because uh, I really want to play Tredracos in real life, like in like a Yu-Gi-Oh local someday because it's like the cheapest deck ever, and uh, I guess I have to spend more, which sucks so much. Uh, Final Countdown is still limited. That, that stinks too. But I understand. Into the Void got limited. Wow, I'm actually surprised. Like, what's crazy is that Dan Parker also predicted Into the Void getting limited. Like, what the fuck? So, uh, Into the Void um, has been making a, like a big, a great big comeback. Funny enough, it appeared in a True Draco deck, but it also appeared in a lot of other decks. Basically, if you have three or more cards in your hand, you draw one more card. But at the end phase, you lose everything. Uh, Into the Void is just a really, really good card. It's uh, it's pretty nutty. It was, the card was used uh, in uh, Inferities. Like, it was one of Inferities' favorite toys. Uh, but it was good in other decks. Everest is back! Somehow, I saw this coming. I saw this coming. And Pantheism is still limited. Sorry, sorry, uh, Monarch fans. But um, Pod of Avarice is back. Oh, boy. Um, guess we're going to be busy tucking five card, uh, five monsters back to our deck to draw two. And this is not once per turn, so if you can find a way to recycle Pod of Avarice and constantly dump monsters in the graveyard, this card's going to be stupid. But, uh, Pod of Avarice is back. Yay. Um, now I have to think of which decks benefit the most from this card. I'm trying to think. So, um, while I do, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to think about that. So, that's back. Interesting. Sekko's Light is limited. Wow, they really don't like a fucking Burning Abyss, do they? <laughs> or any monster mash deck. But, yeah, Burning Abyss was the the like, the like deck that used Sekko's Light the most. Uh, Sekko's Light is a card that lets you draw two cards, but for the rest of the game, you cannot activate spells or traps, except Sekko's Light. Uh, Burning Abyss was amazing with Sekko's Light. Like, the best deck to utilize it the most, because... They didn't really need spells and traps unless they, you know, side decking stuff. But uh, wow, it's actually limited. So the Sekka Burning Abyss deck is gone. Like there's no point to playing that anymore. There's no point to playing this anymore. Which, oh well. But I guess if they're gonna be playing Burning Abyss, they'll just play the, like a normal ass Burning Abyss. But it's it's not bad. Like it's just this particular version is just dead. But. Burning Bits aren't going to die. They're just going to find other tools to play with. Um, next up. Uh, they still have... Red Reboot's limited. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised at this. Um, Red Reboot is a really disgusting card. I play, uh, I play Paleos, and uh, this card ruins my day. 
Um, it ruins out a lot of back rows day. Like, it's like, and it's also like an OTK deck's favorite toy to ensure that they get through. It's really stupid. Like, a really, really dumb card. So, I'm not surprised it got, like, and Alter, also guys, I believe, played this as well. Uh, actually, no, I don't think they do. Because I don't think they can OTK that well, but still. Card is limited now. Magical Explosion is still limited. I don't know why. That card should be gone. Next up. semi limited list. Deep Sea Deep. deep I'm not surprised. Uh, the OCG did this as well. And that's because we're going to be getting a series of cards based on her. So, so now's the right time. So that's fine. Um, tour guy is semi limited. Now that is interesting. They did the same thing as the OCG. So, so burning abyss with two tour guys is going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting. Um, um, like tour guide. I haven't seen tour guide in two in like a long fucking time. Like it's been so long since I've seen that card at two. <laughs> um. So, um, don't forget, you can special summon copy, like, another tour, like, a second tour guide off this effect. So, you don't even have to play an Alter Geist. So you, I mean, not Alter Geist, Burning Abyss. You could just straight up use it as, like, like an instant rank 3. Like, that's just, that's just silly. That's really silly. This is just, this is basically, like, the Terra Top shit all over again. Except, uh, it's even better because that means you don't have to run... Garnets like a single garnet, but on the other hand, this also means you're less likely to draw into it. So, uh, yeah, mind control simulator. Honestly, the card should be banned. I like mind control, but I have to admit it's unfair. It is just straight up unfair with links being around. This card should have never been to three, to be honest. Um, this card is at two is not gonna fix anything this card is still gonna be a problem the card should be banned already all right so what came off the list i'm scared darum dragon is at three okay cool whatever i'm not surprised lady debugs at three morphin jars at the morphin jar is at three okay lady debugs at three okay that's fine i mean cool but morphin are two at three i'm happy so we have Morphing Jar at 1 and Morphing Jar at 2 at 3. So that means Empty Jar is back, my boys. We're bringing that shit back. Oh, man. It's been too long. Like, But Jackpot 7 is still at 3. So that means uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, cheesy wins with Jackpot 7, let me tell you. So that's going to be annoying. Damage Juggler at 3. Honestly, that should have been done already. Tribe Affecting Virus at 3. Um, thank you. I've been asking for this damn card to be off the list already. I'm so glad you did it. Took long enough. Because the card was was at 1 in the OCG. Did nothing. 2. Did nothing. 3. Did nothing. Like, this card had, needed to be at 3 for so damn long. Like, I'm, I'm glad. Like, cleaning up the damn list. Kargari's at 3. Um, well, makes sense. Because they can't recycle Engage anymore. So, that's fine. That's fine. Book of Moon at three. Finally. Finally. I have been asking for this damn card to be at three for so fucking long. So three Book of Moons, two morphing uh, three morphing jars and one uh, morphing jar well, like the original morph jar. So that means empty deck is a thing you can do again. <laughs> And Book of Moon is just a good card in general, like a really damn good card in general. And I'm and now that it's at three, you're gonna be seeing this card being played a lot now because this card has a lot of versatility. It's crazy what you can do with this card. You can flip your own things face down to dodge targeting that specifies face up cards. Uh, you can use it to uh, reset flip effects, which is a really big deal for me because I play um, I played a Torah tray, like a Prediction Princess Torah tray deck. That relies a lot on flip effects, so this is great for that. This is going to be a big boost for that. Um, it's good against your, your opponent's stuff as well. You can flip down their, um, you can flip down their, um, their monsters, and like they're setting up like an extra deck summon, and you flip one of their things face down, and, and that screws them over. Uh, 
And again, we're not under the new rules yet, so if they summon anything in the extra monster zone that's not a link monster, you can flip that face down, and you just pretty much stop them in their tracks. It's just, it's it's just so fun. It's such a fun card. And of course, they brought back um, the Phantom Knights rank up magic launch. So every Phantom Knight player is super happy about this. I can say straight up, that means Dark Requiem is free. You can play that card again. Be happy. Uh, Solemn Warnings at 3, I mean, th this was a long time coming, like, this was, like, the only Solemn card that was still on the ban, on the ban, the, the ban list and limit list, so, welcome, welcome back at 3, Solemn Warning, it's been too long, like, I don't even remember the last time this card was at 3, I mean, this was, like, right around, like, Duelist Revelation getting released, so, yeah, this was, like, not, this was, like, in fucking college, man, this was, like, college shit, man, so, um, Sol solemn warning at three. So we have nine solemns to work with here. Well, twelve you count scolding, but nobody plays scolding anymore. So solemn warning at three. So counter fairy players are probably happy about that as well. So and soul drains at three. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, this card's so good. So this card shits on every graveyard based strategy because graveyard effects that activate in the graveyard uh, do not work under Soul Drain, nor cards that banish that start as chain. They don't start either. So this card's incredibly good against Orca, a lot of Orcus cards. Uh, it's good against Zombies. It's good against Cosmos. It's good against um, a lot of stuff, actually. Like, like an absurd amount. Like, even Metaphys. Like. Even Metaphys died to Soul Drain. Like it's this is this car is nuts. So I'm glad they are bringing that back. And that is it. Wow, I was not expecting this video to take as long as it did. But this is like a big fucking list. Let me tell you, holy crap! I don't know what this means. Like I don't know what this means. I I don't know. Like this is such. These are such drastic fucking changes. Like god damn. Uh, so Babel didn't get banned, but Harp Horror did. A Gallia Stale at 3. So, honestly, I don't know what this means for Orcus. Like, I'm not familiar enough with Orcus. But Hop Horror is a big loss. I will... I, I, I know that for a fact. And True Draco is gone. Like, like True Draco's dead. Like, pretty sure it's dead. I don't see uh, True Draco's ever coming back from that. So if I want to play in real life, I have to actually pay up for fucking infinite. Per uh, like I guess Paleos is my my go to deck now. It's just gonna suck that I have to pay like fucking I don't know how much money for the fucking three copies of Infinite. This is the, the Infinite Permanence. That's gonna suck. But yeah. Um, so uh, I'm I'm speechless. I, I I need I need a drink of water. I I just need I need just, I need to lay down. Anyways. I'm out of here. See ya.